Hi, it's LeVar. I am so sorry to not be there with you tonight in Columbus. I'm currently on location in New York City, New York. You probably hear the sirens in the background. We're shooting a couple of episodes of Reading Rainbow. Now, you may have heard uh, that last year we had a funding crisis, and uh, that's in fact true, but I'm happy to report this evening that we have solved that interim crisis, and we are back now in production after a year's hiatus. So look for new Reading Rainbow episodes coming to uh, a television screen near you soon. Um, I just wanted to say a, a few words by way of acceptance about uh, not just your, uh, your motto of, of scholarship, uh, leadership and service, which are um, outstanding principles to embody, but about the program that you seniors decided to enact uh, as your service program this year. As you all know, reading and literature is very important to me. I believe that our ability to share stories uh, in our culture, in the various cultures around the planet, are, are in fact one of the things that defines us as human beings. It is an ancient and uh, an elemental part of ourselves to be able to share who we are through the oral and written tradition of storytelling. So I really commend you on, on your reading project. Um, if I were there in person tonight, I would probably want to spend a few moments talking to you about the responsibilities that you all are about to step into as you walk out into the world. And if I could give you any advice, it would be um, to be very mindful of the thoughts you think. I believe that human beings communicate basically in three modalities, through the thoughts we think, through the words we speak, and through the actions that we take. Of these three ways of communicating with ourselves and each other, it is the thoughts that we think that carry the most power. There is nothing that you can think of in creation that did not begin with an original thought. I am always awed by the reality that I know that there was some kid who watched Star Trek in those early days of the original series and kept seeing Captain Kirk pull that communicator from that secret place, that Velcroed place behind his hip and flip that thing open and call Scotty on the ship. And I know that that kid grew up and became an engineer and a scientist and developed a piece of technology that is as common to us today as the cell phone. That which we focus our thoughts on, we tend to manifest in third dimensional reality. So your thoughts are the most powerful tool you have for creating the world in which you live. So be very, very conscious of that which you are thinking in addition to what you speak and how you walk in the world. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for this award from the National Board, and I really wish I could have been there with you tonight, but I accept this award uh, from all of you, uh, all 6,000 of you, and I'll see you next time. But you don't have to take my word for it.